Welcome to today's edition of the Exploring Mining Podcast, featuring stock news from TSX, TSXV, CSE, ASX, NASDAQ, and New York Stock Exchange mining companies, plus interviews with CEOs and leading experts. Hey everyone, Sam Mowers here, back with another episode of the Exploring Mining Podcast. For news today, we'll look at the latest from Denison Mines Corp., Great Panther Mining Limited, African Gold Group, Zanti Metals Inc., and Alianza Minerals Limited. So Denison Mines Corp., which is traded on the New York Stock Exchange American under the ticker symbol DNN, has successfully installed two commercial-scale wells within the Phoenix deposit as part of the ongoing in-situ recovery field test program at the company's 90% owned Wheeler River Uranium Project in northern Saskatchewan, Canada. David Bronkhorst, the company's VP of Operations, commented, quote, We are very pleased to have completed the successful installation of the first two commercial-scale wells at Phoenix. As part of the company's risk-managed approach to the 2019 ISR field test program, we continue to build on operational successes and advance towards the completion of all of our program objectives, including the testing of the MaxPerf drilling tool, which has already proven to be effective when deployed in a CSW. With the varied geology interpreted at Phoenix, the ability to use max perf to mechanically engineer increased access to the existing permeability of the ore from formation bodes well for potentially normalizing the geological variations in a production environment. End quote. Great Panther Mining Limited, which is traded on the New York Stock Exchange American under the ticker symbol GPL, has enhanced its management team with the appointment of Neil Hepworth as chief operating officer. According to the press release, Hepworth is a mining engineer with over 30 years of experience in underground mining operations and technical and operational experience in open pit mines. He has strong technical knowledge of geology and geotechnics and operational experience throughout Latin America, Africa, and Europe with extensive experience in Brazil and Mexico. African Gold Group Inc., which is traded on the TSXV under the ticker symbol AGG, has contracted Malguin Mineral Services Africa, or MMSA, a world-renowned metallurgical test facility to conduct metallurgical testing of the company's Kobata project. MMSA was specifically contracted by Senate, the EPCM company managing the definitive feasibility study for African Gold Group. Danny Callow, the chief operating officer for AGG, commented, quote, We are delighted to have MMSA on board to undertake the detailed test work on the Kobata ore body. We will undertake detailed test work on representative composite samples taken from across the concession and test the most optimal process for the design of the future Kobata metallurgical plant. End quote. Zanti Metals Inc., which is traded on the TSXV under the ticker symbol ZON, has discovered a second large gravity anomaly and has commenced drilling at the K6 target on its Cross Hills IOCG, that's iron oxide copper gold ore deposits project. The press release indicates that, quote, the K7 gravity anomaly, which sits adjacent to the strong magnetic high, is located approximately 130 meters below service surface and appears to be a cohesive target extending vertically. Additional work will be required in this area to help better define the full extents of the target. Outcrop exposure is limited in the target area, however. IOCG characteristics of the rock units, including potassic, calcic, and sodic alteration, are observed in an altered porphyritic unit. End quote. And Alianza Minerals Limited, which is traded on the TSXV under the ticker symbol ANZ, has reported the results of 2019 fieldwork at the Horse Thief Gold property located 26 kilometers or 16 miles east of Piash, Nevada. The results revealed the discovery of new gold-bearing jasperoid, the identification of favorable carbonate host stratigraphy, and the mapping of alteration and structural features that may act as pathways for gold-bearing fluids at Horse Thief. Jason Weber, president and CEO of Alianza, explained, quote, The 2019 exploration program was extremely successful, identifying new mineralized occurrences of jasperoid and prospective carbonate stratigraphy, illustrating potential for horse thief to host a large gold-bearing system. However, the most interesting outcome was the identification of these features at or near the contact between Cambrian and Ordovician-aged rocks, which are known to host large sediment-hosted gold deposits such as the Long Canyon Gold Mine, end quote. 
Well, that does it for today's Exploring Mining podcast. If you'd like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, please contact InvestorIdeas.com. InvestorIdeas.com reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. All investment involves risk, and this podcast is not meant to be an endorsement to buy or sell securities or products. To hear more podcasts, you can go to InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play Music, iHeart.com, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker, and SoundCloud. 